Our top story tonight, today, former Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson meeting with former President Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago. The meeting comes amid swirling rumors that Thompson is weighing another run for the state's highest office. CBS 58's Adam Reif live in our newsroom to break down these latest developments. Adam. Well, Jess, some sources were tight-lipped about today's meeting. Say it was not focused on an endorsement, but simply on Wisconsin politics. Thompson certainly has the name recognition with some voters, but many new voters weren't even born when the now 80-year-old last served as governor. Will he or won't he? For months, Wisconsin Republicans have been looking for clues as Tommy Thompson waits another run for governor. A meeting with former President Trump Thursday added more fuel to the fire, but sources close to Thompson aren't talking. Thompson and Trump have a history. Thompson stumped for then-candidate Trump in Waukesha back in 2016. It's time to get on the train. The Trump train is moving. We need you on the Trump train. And thank you, by the way, to Tommy Thompson. Right now, Rebecca Clayfish, Kevin Nicholson, and Timothy Ramthun are vying to win the Republican nomination. Thompson is already the longest serving governor in state history, having held the office for 14 years and 28 days. If Thompson runs and wins, he would be 11 days shy of his 81st birthday on election night. Only one person was older when elected governor of Wisconsin. Walter Samuel Goodland was nearly 84 when he was reelected in 1946. Back in January, CBS 58 Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin asked Thompson point blank about his political future. Would you ever consider running for governor? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of individuals come in and suggest what I do, and I'll take a look at it, listen to them. And I said, wait till April. I'm going to take the month of April and look around, find out what I really want to do. And a few weeks ago, Thompson again deflected when asked about a run for governor, again saying he'd decide sometime in April. Now today, representatives for Tommy Thompson said he was unavailable. He did say he would wait until April to make a decision. April starting tomorrow, of course. The candidates have until June 1st, however, to file to get on the ballot. That primary election is August 9th. In the newsroom, Adam Rive, CBS 58 News. We will be watching.